back to Red Ted Art, we have a super cute and simple e-bookmark for you today. Come on, let's take a look and see how it's made. So we will need mainly some yellow paper, white for wings and a little bit of black, but you can also use black pen if you don't have black paper. First thing we need to do is create our basic corner bookmark. And we do that, or your basic square. So we do that by folding up the triangle, cutting along this edge. Now keep this for other projects or some baby bees. And we'll turn this into a corner bookmark. Bring the corner up. Bring this corner up. Open, fold down, bring this over, tuck it in, and repeat. Bring it over, tuck it in, repeat. Now if you need to, you can rewind and watch that again slowly. Now I'm gonna just give it a little bit of a shape at the front so that I've got a little bit of a face. I'm gonna cut it this side actually because then I can see what I'm doing. This is gonna be the front of my bee. Don't cut too much, that will do. I would like to now cut some wings. There'll be two sort of teardrop shapes. I'm just gonna cut them out and then see if I like the size. You've noticed I cut two sh sheets at the same time to make them the same size. I think that will work. What do you think? That looks all right, doesn't it? Then I'm going to use my black paper and cut some stripes. My scissors have got something sticky on them. Right. Let's have a look. I think they're looking quite good, the stripes. Now, you could have a black face or a yellow face. I'm gonna go for a yellow face because it means I can draw some cuter eyes. I think it's a little bit easier, but if you do a little black face, you can um, stick on some white eyes or you can stick on some googly eyes. That would look cute too. And you can also add some little B antennae. I'm going to now start sticking on my red black stripes. Now, if you wish, you can give it a little pointy bit at the end. You know, it's got the little stinger. I might actually make it black and put a little stinger on. Let's have a look. These are my leftover pieces. Always good to recycle. What do you think? That's quite good, isn't it? I think so. And then all that's left to do is stick the wings on. Isn't that an adorable bee? So cute. Now I've lined up my wings to come along this edge. So that means when your bookmark's in the book, 
nothing will peep out and it's super neat. But again, if you want your wings to pop out, I think that's okay. And there you have it. <laughs> that was how quick and easy it is to make a bee bookmark. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, above all, keep watching, keep making, and of course, we'd love to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.